The Mario franchise is home to many weird creatures. I've analyzed a few of these little enemies in the past. Thwomps, Chain Chomps, there's a long list, but... When I looked at a certain enemy that debuted in Super Mario 3D World, I just had to look deeper because this thing's like a sentient wind machine. Hello, I'm the Theorizer, and to find out the lethality of the enemy known as a Typhu, it would be best to first find out how fast they blow air out of their mouths. This is shockingly easy to do, and I even created a big formula to find the sound loudness of their blowing, but I'll break it all down easier at this time. If we want to find the speed of his wind blowing, we first need to know how much force he blows with. On average, I've seen it able to keep Mario afloat in the air in two different games now, which means it has to at least have enough force to contradict Mario's gravity. This is also seen in how it can blow him all over the place with ease. In that case, Mario's gravity is the force we'll be using. Mario's gravitational force is equal to his mass times the number we use for gravity. His mass is easy and I've been doing a lot of it recently in other videos. What I'm doing is taking the average of Mario's BMI weight and the mathematical weight recently found by the game theorists to get a more accurate middle ground that doesn't result in Mario's obesity or the opposite of that. In that case, in this specific game, he'd weigh a rough average of around 80 kilograms. This puts his force of gravity at a very accurate looking 784 newtons. If we rearrange the formulas relating mass, flow rate, and force, then we get this equation. The force divided by the air density times the area that the Typhoo is blowing into. Air density is pretty easy as always. It's usually a constant 1.225 kilograms per cubic meter. The area is tricky because it changes depending on where in the vortex we're measuring, but at its mouth, it's about 0.44 square meters, and out at the end, it's a rough 28.27 square meters. Solving the equation, that means the Typhoo blows at 38 meters per second from its mouth, and it slows to about 4.8 meters per second out at the very end of the vortex. At his mouth, that's around 85 miles an hour, or 137 kilometers an hour. Pretty fast indeed. No wonder it blows Mario all over the place. Using the velocity and area, this thing blows out air at around 17 cubic meters meters every second, which is very fast, and collectively, that would increase to 135 cubic meters per second out at the end of the vortex. That's around 20 kilograms blowing out of him per second, equal to almost 45 pounds. How on earth does he hold all that in him? But that's not all. You know me, I always like to find the energy and then convert it. Multiplying the blowing force by the speed coming out of his mouth and dividing by the time it takes to get to the very end of the vortex, that equals approximately 19.9 kilojoules of energy, or 20,000 joules. Pretty large number, but now we must convert it. That's almost 30,000 watts of power. Dividing the power by the distance Mario would be away, which I'm assuming would be like right next to him, that works out to an intensity of 1,055 watts per square meter, which, once I put through a formula for decibels, equals about 150 decibels. Amazingly loud. Definitely the loudest fan ever. That is, if you don't include the propeller hat, which I've also calculated the loudness of. 150 decibels is like listening to a jet take off from 80 feet away. It can rupture your eardrums. Amazing creature. What a beautifully frightening thing. It would bring pain to your eardrums while it pushes you off a cliff. And I'm sure it's still using some restraint. The sheer power alone is rather intense at around 30,000 watts. During the maximum of about 3.13 seconds that it blows, it would use 0.026111111111 kilowatt hours. And since the average American cost of one kilowatt hour is 12 cents, it would waste a third of a cent each time it blew. Every three blows, then, would be about one cent. Not that much money, I can certainly see why Bowser has employed them as his mindless henchman. Thanks for indulging with me in another short but sweet and interesting video on the physics of Mario. Until next time, when I probably do this again, I mean, it's pretty fun for me. I'm the Theorizer. Theorizer.